I've got a new project in mind and I hope it'll be a fun one and I thought I'd take you along with me and what it is is I've got this IF, IIFS combat patrol pack and I think I got it for next to nothing it's in pretty good shape and I hate it uh, I you know I look at it and I think what were they thinking and I understand that that it did double duty of being like a a lid for that big old IIFS uh, main pack but um, but it's just it's big bulky and I've been trying to think of something to do with it I thought about turning it into a, a kind of a daily driver kind of computer case but the fact is I don't take my computer home from work very often um, I think it'd be okay for that it's kind of a kind of got a nice satchel feel to it but I want to kind of make it useful so what I decided to do is I'm gonna give it a makeover so I got out all my my project boxes got my box of shoulder straps my box of buckles and hardware my box of straps and we're gonna see if we can't give it a makeover and make it more useful as a combat patrol pack okay first thing we're gonna do is get rid of these thin 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 uh, shoulder straps and replace them with something else so I got two shoulder straps that came from something, not sure what. And these are more of your Alice type shoulder straps. And I'm just going to trade them out. And then I'll have to do some hardware work up here. But I've got something in mind that's going to make this thing more compatible with other gear. Alright, so there's the two original shoulder straps that came with this IIFS. And they're going to go into my shoulder strap box because who knows... I might use them for something else or this may not work and I may end up putting them back on so I've snapped on the uh, the new straps and already I'm liking that better it looks better it looks like you might actually want to wear the thing I just think it's it's already better and so what I've got to do is I've got to find a way to attach this well I want to find a way to attach it in such a way that I can ditch these straps and actually attach it to a main pack or to a load bearing vest or to a um, uh, plate carrier if I so want to and I'll show you how I think I'm going to be able to do that so I picked up a bag of these doodads I think I got them from Milspec Monkey I'm not positive and what they are is there a reasonable facsimile of the um, Fastex buckle but the female end has these feet that allow them to attach to PAL's webbing. Let me show you that. So here I have a couple of these attached to some PAL's webbing on a plate carrier and you can see once you get them on there and, and if you use a screwdriver uh, to kind of push the material it's not that hard to get on there but um, once you get them on there, they're, they're there, and they're not coming off. So then you can put the mail, and I'm using a different color mail just so it's easier to see. And as you can see, you can attach a lot of gear in some weird places um, using these things. And I just think they're kind of cool, and that's why I bought a bag of them, and I've just had them sitting until a project came up where I could use them. So I'll try to show you what I've done here. And uh, I'm using some Coyote uh, hardware just because I have more of that than I do of the black. So I've taken the mail of a Coyote set and I just threaded it through um, this piece here. And then I had some of, out of my straps, I had some of these little straps that uh, end up in a keeper buckle. And what I've done is I've run that through the female see and that works just great so then what I end up having is the ability to take both the top and the bottom off via fastex buckles and boom I can remove my entire um, shoulder strap and that leads me toward being able to attach this to something else now you may say well why not just use the four females that this pack comes with. There's one, there's two, and there's three and four. 
And what those were is they were meant to be used to attach to the large IIFS pack. I don't have one. I've never used it, but I've seen pictures. And I'm going to leave those. And, and I say to you, if, when you say that to me, yeah, that, that's, that's a possibility too. I'm trying to make this pack where it's as usable as possible with, like I said, a large field pack, uh, some um, LBE, maybe a combat vest, or maybe a plate carrier. So now what I have, both top and bottom, is a male and a female set, and down here a male and a female set. And when I combine that with these bad boys that I showed, no, these bad boys that I showed you, putting these onto whatever gear I'm trying to attach this pack to, I should be able to attach it to just about anything. All right, to test this, I've thrown some stuff in this pack, and we're going to start off easy. We've got the uh, Molly 2 Woodland Pack up here, and I've thrown some stuff in it to give it some shape. And I say this is easy because this pack is actually made to hold the uh, uh, assault or patrol pack in, in the fashion that we're talking. But let's make sure we can do it with this one. So the first thing we're going to do, well, first of all, we probably could get away with not even taking the straps off this pack because this Molly 2 is, is really, really kind of made for this. But, but let's find out. So I kind of looked it over and I decided, yeah, I'm going to take the, the straps off, throw them inside, and use a combination of the buckles that came on this pack, the IFS, IFS, and, um, the ones that I put on to create the uh, the hold that we need to piggyback this pack onto the Molly 2. And sure enough, that worked great. What I did is I used the existing and the uh, new uh, buckles to run through this place that is made for it in the frame. Now, what you could also do is you could put... Um, a male right here permanently on these uh, what do you call these tension supports and that would allow you to not have to mess with that and you could just cinch it from there of course in the back it's real easy because I use the existing um, females and then I use the male uh, main main strap main pack strap and it, it works just great puts it up high which is where you want to get a piggyback and um, that's just too easy now we have an assault pack we have a patrol pack that is made for this molly but now what we've done is we've taken this IIFS which at least for me has been a dead end um, and made it where that we could use it on top of a molly pack any molly 2 pack all right now let's look at my favorite pack the ILBE the strapzilla uh, I just love this pack, and the more I, I play with it, the more I've used it, it's just such a great pack. There's so many things you can do. I want to go on a multi-day hunting trip up in Idaho or Montana just so I can carry this pack. I mean, it's just it's just an incredible pack, and, and I'm always looking for, for opportunities to use it. But... Let's go ahead, and even though it's got a ton of attachments, it's also got a ton of good molly landscape. So we put these two, um, I gotta, I gotta remember what the name of it is. I think Millspec Monkey had a funny name for like anywhere and everywhere or in and out or something like that. But these, these attachments, and again, I got just enough stuff in there to make the thing stand up. So we put the patrol pack up on top, and sure enough, these, uh, males that, normally would go to the uh, strap I mean the, yeah the shoulder strap are perfect there hold it on there and around here on the business end what really matters here you've got well you've got several choices uh, the one we're probably going to go with is right here this is what normally holds the lid onto the ILBE but it will very easily accommodate well, easily if you're not doing it one-handed. Accommodate. Oh, I 
need a pretty assistant. These straps right here, and you can see, and that one would go there, and you can see that that works. Um, I mean, I really think we've gotten some use now out of this pack because there's so many places we can now use it. You know, I just thought of something. Not only does that work on the ILBE, but it doesn't take up the landscape that normally would be used for the um, um, assault pack, patrol pack, because it attaches back here. Now, I like it up here, but it is made to attach there. All right, now just for fun, we're going to take a non-typical pack. This is a Black Hawk pack from the early days of GWAT. Um, it's a very specific specialty pack. It has got all the straps and stuff for to be jumpable. So it's a jumpable pack, and it's also a specialty EOD pack. It's got um, very specific uh, um, pockets and sewn-on pouches for EOD. And um, to be honest with you, it's not my favorite pack, and, and I'm probably going to get rid of it. It's just uh, it's so specific and so special that... Um, that I think that, that somebody else needs to own it. But that's not the point. The point is we're going to see if we can attach this pack to this pack. Even though this isn't a giant expedition style pack, this is more of a, a three-day, five-day pack. Um, who knows? It might be nice to have a lightweight, formless pack that we can attach there. You know, uh, if you were going somewhere to blow some stuff up and you got to carry a lot of demo in, but obviously you're not carrying demo out. It'd be great to have something like this to pack in the explosives. And then when you're done, you either wad it up and stick it in there, or you just blow it up with the explosives, and then you head back out and exfiltrate with this pack. So let's see if we can get this thing attached. And there you go. I put a couple of these uh, anytime, anywhere females onto the suspension, the, lift, the load lifting uh, straps I guess you call them and that worked out okay and then on the back I just ran the male and the female through this old time Alice gear um, webbing and it holds it pretty securely so the point is with enough straps and enough buckles you can attach anything to anything right um, just like you can milk anything that has nipples. But the point is, by adding a couple of things, we've made this pack more versatile and maybe given it a useful life. Hey, thanks for watching.